is dirt. It's, it's a very open up uh, game. Uh, they, they love going up and down. Um, you know, they take quick shots, and there's obviously a lot of possessions for, for both teams. And yeah, it's 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 been it's been fun games, uh, close games. It feels like we have we played them eight times this year already. Um, you know, this is our fifth time, including the one in preseason. So uh, both teams obviously know it, uh, what each other are doing. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fun challenge. I mean, uh, we were a little fortunate and hardened in play down there last game. Um, so they're at full strength again. Um, we were a little fortunate. We're down 18 here with, with a couple minutes left, and uh, we did a heck of a comeback. So hopefully we you know, put ourselves in that position again uh, and start the game off a little better. Um, defensively, we got to be great. I think they started off with six, seven threes here last, last time in the first quarter. And hopefully we're a little sharper than uh, in the first quarter. You know, obviously people know about Harden, they know about Howard. Parsons is a guy who might not get as much attention, but what do you think about the challenges he presents and kind of his development? Well, he's, he's a heck of a find for, for a second rounder. Uh, you know, I think he's, he's great moving without the ball, um, so he kind of really plays great off of these two guys. But then uh, when one guy's on the bench, he, he can, for his size, he can move, he can run some pick and rolls, he can shoot threes with the best of them. I think he made 10 in a row the other day. Uh, he's a good, great slasher and a good passer, so he can do a little bit of everything out there, and that's why he's, he's valuable to the team. Uh, he's a good defender on, on his position, so uh, he does a little bit of everything for him, and uh, he's, he's a very good player. And like I said, a heck of a fine for a second round. Rick, when they, you know, after the lockout, you, you guys make the business decisions. The, the goal was to try to make Dirk the second best player on this roster. Obviously, you guys swung and missed the last couple of summers. Are you confident that they're ever going to be able to do that to, you know, acquire a legitimate in their prime star to pair with you? I have no idea. Um, I think we moved away from the concept of of one-year uh, deals. Uh, we did. Uh, we signed Jose. We signed Monte. Both have been great. So um, we went in a different direction there. I think those two guys have been great. Um, but saying all that, I mean, we have a lot of cap space again this summer. You know, I'm coming off. Obviously, Trix is coming off. I think Vince might be coming off. Uh, so there's um, less, less over 30 million coming off the cap room, uh, cap, cap space. And we'll see. Uh, you know, there's usually three ways to get better is, is the draft. It's, it's uh, free agency and it's via trades, so um, we'll just uh, wait and see what happens. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm trying to make the playoffs this year. Everything else is, is kind of secondary to me. Um, we missed the playoffs last year, which was disappointing to watch it from home. So that's really all where my focus is at, and um, everything else we'll, uh, we'll figure out this summer, I guess. 
script, the All-Star Reserve is going to be announced in a couple of days. you give me any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said the other day, it's both is great. Uh, always had fun going. Um, you know, even though probably over the last couple of years when I made, I didn't really play that much anymore. It wasn't even really my type of game when I was young, so it definitely <laughs> was not my type of game when I'm old. Um, but, you know, I still have fun going there, and um, it's always been, been an honor. Uh, we always feel like this, this was a great organization, or is. And, you know, we're great fans, and we won whatever, 10, 11, 50 uh, games a season. So we always felt like uh, we needed a representative, and I was, I was fortunate to be that guy. And uh, if it happens this year, then it'll be great. I'll go there and, and have some fun. And if not, I'll find something else to do. So that's, that's how I look at it. Would it be more gratifying to make it this year after coming off the injury in the season you had a year ago? Yeah, I mean, it kind of would show me that the, the work I, I put in this summer, starting in May already, kind of paid off. But um, I guess I know that already without making the All-Star game, uh, you know, it's been a tough two years for me after after winning it all and so I want to really put in my work and, and stay injury free and um, so far I've been doing that I'm trying to help the, help the, this franchise get back to the playoffs so that's really where my head's at. What would it mean for this, for this group here to uh, get a 3 one series <coughs> win and just a few of you that you know, people kind of assume is would have the upper hand on you guys. Yeah, we've been we've been struggling a little bit against against teams that are above us or even in the Eastern Conference. Teams that have a better record. Uh, I think we have a losing record against those teams. Um, so any any game that we can win against those teams is big as a confidence builder. And and like I said, if you look at the race, you can't really afford to lose any games. Um, so it would be a, would be another huge win for us. You get the tie break. And they're only a couple games ahead of us, so it's uh, yeah, it's it's a big game. It's a fun game. I think they're on the back to back, so hopefully we can use that to our advantage. Uh, if I saw that correct there in San Antonio tonight, uh, that should help us hopefully, and uh, should help us uh, hopefully get to a better start, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. We gotta go.